this was going to be a journey in which we learn how Dumbledore became the aged great wizard that we met in the Harry Potter stories. We're not yet seeing the sage. We're seeing the sage in, in waiting. He's not just a wonderfully iconic character. He's a really rich, complicated, multi-layered, multifaceted character. I understand Dumbledore inside out, and he's my favorite character in the whole series. Should things at some point go terribly wrong, it's good to have a place to go, you know, for a cup of tea. Initially, I thought I was going to steer clear of going back and watching Richard Harris or Michael Gambon, but I just couldn't resist. First of all, it seemed like such an obvious opportunity to watch all the films again, which was really fun, and also, you know, I just wanted to see if there was anything I could eke from them, because they were they're wonderful actors. I love the peaceful wisdom with a quality of playfulness and, and youthfulness, a sparkle. Hmm. A lot. Earwax. Even though it was very important to all of us that we weren't creating that Dumbledore, we were creating a man who was going to become that Dumbledore. It is much more a relationship of equals. It's not grandfather's grandson as it was with Harry. Well, I can't blame you. In your shoes, I'd probably refuse to. You can see the beginnings of the Dumbledore that Harry knows. He is wise. He has profound understanding of other human beings. But godlike though he sometimes appears, he earned that by going through what we're watching in these movies. There's a certain responsibility. He's, he's a much-loved character, and there are lots of details that people will want to see hinted at. There's a lot more to go with this character. I think people will be rightly hungry for more.